ratios are not only useful for comparisons or food recipes. They have other purposes too, like finding out unknown values. Don't believe me? See for yourself then. Here's an example that says this ratio on the left is equal to this one on the right. Can you spot the unknown value? Yes, it's this A and our job is to find its value. So, let's write them in their fractional forms and then equate them to each other. All we have to do is to cross multiply the fractions and then 5 is multiplied by A plus 3 and on the right side 4 is multiplied by 7 plus A. With a bit of simplification, we are left with this. We need to simplify it further to isolate A. For that, shift the like terms to one side. You'll get 5a minus 4a equals 28 minus 15. Solve this and you'll have the value of the unknown a, 13. Now, we know that the given ratios can be equal if a is equal to 13. Unknown variables are not the only unfamiliar situations you'll have to face. Here's another example with a unique condition. It says that if 3 to 4 is the given ratio, Hold on, we need to build some concepts here first. Let me explain it to you the same way which we have discussed in the previous video. Consider that this 3 is the number of chocolate bars your friend has while you have 4 bars. Now, that friend gets 6 chocolates while I have 8. What is the ratio now? Correct, 6 to 8. And if we simplify it, well, 3 to 4 again. What do you observe? the number of chocolates increased by the multiple of 2, but the ratio remained the same. What does that mean? 3 to 4 is representing the ratio of all those numbers that are multiples of it. Or, in general, it is a ratio of 3x to 4x, where x can be any number that is the same for both the numerator and the denominator. Now, the question is saying that if 2 is added in each number of the ratio 3 to 4, the result is a new ratio, 5 to 6. I hope this makes sense now. After all this given information, the question asks us to find the values of those numbers, which we'll call 3x and 4x. Let's begin by cross multiplying 5 and 6 to get 6 into 3x plus 2 and on the right side, 5 times 4x plus 2. Open the parentheses and multiply. Then simplify by shifting the like terms on one side to isolate the unknown x. Here we get 18x minus 20x equals to 10 minus 12. By further simplification, we get the value of x to be 1. Recall that we actually had to find the numbers 3x and 4x. It's no big deal. Simply multiply this value of x with these to get the required numbers. 3x becomes 3 and 4x becomes 4. And that's it. We found our answers. Keep following our lessons and you'll be twice as fast as your other classmates while doing these questions. Your speed to theirs will be 2 to 1 in terms of ratio. Speaking of 2s, what happens when there are two unknown variables in such a question? We'll cover that in the next lesson.